going to talk about that a lot more. But something I want to talk about is the 39 car of Ryan Sieg. This is a race team that's off to a very fast start this year. We've talked about how good he's been at the first race, four races. He's set career best already on pretty much every stat line that you can look at. The one thing we haven't talked about, though, is how much of a challenge it has been for this race team on the West Coast swing. This is one of the race teams that decided to stay out West. These crew guys have not been home in three weeks. The last time they were at home was actually before we headed out to Las Vegas on that Thursday, and some of them didn't even get to go home before that because the team is based in Georgia. Many of these crew guys live in North Carolina, so a good start for these guys, but this is one team that's really looking forward to the off weekend. 12th in the first practice, they got some speed today, too. Regan, I think uh, 2020 West Coast Swing, you and I hang out all three weeks together. Uh, Las Vegas, Phoenix, and California. Here are the numbers that Regan talked about. It's been an incredible season so far for Ryan Sieg, already topping his output through 33 races a year ago. The cars are who was in the booth with us last week for our Xfinity race at Phoenix have developed that relationship with Kyle and can get themselves in a place to take his feedback. We look at the 39 of Ryan Sieg's seventh right now, Michael. Yeah, he got on new tires and that put in some speed in that car. And I missed Allgaier. I said 40, 77. How about a 40, 43, Adam? And all of them did, Regan. We're moving down here as well, Jamie. Thankfully, I don't have to push Ryan's race car like you had to for Justin. Ryan, your season, if we talked to Michael Nett, he's had a fast start, but you're the guy that's also had an equally as quick start to this season. How rewarding has that been for you after struggling for some of the years leading up to this year? Um, very rewarding. Uh, it's exciting to come to the track uh, and, and run, compete, you know what I mean? It gets tough there, frustrating when you, you kind of know where you're going to finish uh, the past couple of years, and uh, it's, uh, we've got some new cars and uh, some new people, and new motors and uh, that, that's all part of it and uh, I'm just uh, happy to happy to be here in the Xfinity Series of California race and, and uh, just can't thank my mom and dad and uh, all, all the sponsors that have helped and stepped up this year and made this all possible just can't can't thank them enough thanks Ryan thank you he talks about new cars new people and uh, there's a new member to the family he and his wife have a, a new daughter at home how great would it be to be Ryan's daughter and have Grandpa Rod to hang out with on the weekends. Huh? Grandpa Rod has the has the best attitude about this sport the, of anybody I've ever met. And uh, Cowboy Starlin, Shane Wilson, they talked about coming over. It's just a great group, and that's why I'm so thankful our Fox uh, family let us go down the garage area, do practice yesterday from down there. You get to see all those uh, sweat and going to have a hard time probably advancing at a 40-81, but showed good speed here in practice yesterday. Next up is Ryan Sieg. Another car that we like the way looked, not only in the short run, but long run speed for Ryan Sieg. So he'll need to actually beat Cedric. What do you think, Adam, to be able to be comfortable about being locked in? Yeah, I mean, Haley is, is already locked in as we've had 26 cars out, and we'll continue to put guys into the next round. But for Sieg, tracking right around fifth and i think if he stays there probably going to be difficult to move on and, and be a part of the top dozen well he ran a little bit higher than we've seen a lot of the cars run in one and two and you really have to be disciplined on the entry here into turn three to get that car and you can see really cut it there in the center to get it down to that white line the wind is helping you into that corner and so you're going to overshoot it a little bit so it's really difficult for the driver to hook that bottom and i think that's going to be a key to success in this session was pacing over a net on the tracker but jumps up a bit there on the latter half of his lap good enough for fourth of the 27 cars that have been out of 40 82 and his crew chief is Shane Wilson who has been so successful in the Xfinity series 16 victories and won a championship with Kevin Harvick and was second here with Brendan gone in the NASCAR Cup Series, if you brush the wall with those cars, you'll lose two or three tenths. These Xfinity Series cars are very durable, and that helps these rookie drivers out a lot as they're trying to feel that wall uh, and learn how to run really close to it where all that speed is. You know who it helps as much as anybody, Tyler Reddick, because he bounces off of it all the time <laughs> and just keeps on hauling. Remember when he won the championship down at Miami? I'm watching at home like, come on, man. Get Pollock racing, and just in front of them, the 39 of Ryan Sieg, 98 of Chase Briscoe, and that's the 8 of Ryan Priest, the bright yellow car. Shells and cheese on the side of that car, and that's the brightest yellow car I've ever seen, Regan. What are the drivers down in the, in, the, in the race thinking about all this wind? Is it still whipping on you down there? Well, Michael, the wind's calmed a little bit down here on pit road, but when we start pit stops here in roughly 10 laps when the stage ends. Michael Annette making up some ground from outside the top 12 to inside the top 10. He's ninth. Kyle 
Bush leading 10 laps. Incredible work to Justin Hill. Rookie of the Year contender making his first appearance here at the track in Fontana, California. And, and the action is heating up. Look at oh. Cedric, and there goes Nemechek around. Off the nose of Segan, yeah, hard into the inside wall. Making moves, and you can see where it goes wrong. But he's chasing the 22 down to try to get the side draft off him. I don't think he knows uh, that he's there. Yeah, Ryan Sieg was in a in a hole there, and and no no fault of Ryan Sieg. That's just one of those racing incidents. And man, I'm just nice job by the rest of the field to not hit him. That can be very challenging, like a pool shot there coming up in front of you. And you can see, as you said there, Brad, it looked like John Hunter was just trying to get a pull off the 20. Two car get that draft and and just possibly didn't know Ryan Sieg was down there. See Ryan Sieg's up high, Mike Lynette side by side with Gregson. They're three wide ahead. No, there's no way to describe the frustration, Adam. And he just front. can't get the break he needs in traffic here. He hasn't had any opportunities to really make anything happen. Here he's going to find it right here. They're going to leave the outside open and expose, and Kyle's going to get a big run off of four and try to capitalize. Top three. This might sound crazy, but 